I was really excited about building on just the characters. Um, first time having a sequel to anything, um, being able to take these characters that we were so familiar with that we built, you know, um, Ryan and I and Ryan and I built, you know, the first time around to see where, you know, Adonis and Bianca's relationship would go, you know, um, being professionals in their own right, wanting to have their own, you know, careers and, and passions and how they would kind of, you know, melt, you know, together. Uh, a representation of our generation of being entrepreneurs and, you know, you know, ha wanting to have their own and be their own person, but learning how to have love together as well and compromise, I thought was very interesting. And his evolution as a boxer, um, the first time, you know, just, you know, it was more of an origin story. He had like a fight within himself to figure out who he was. So to see where he was years later, you know, um, uh, yeah, to see how that path would go, his relationship with Rocky, um, how that would build, how that would change and evolve. Yeah, there's a lot of things. You know, this is a very layered film, you know, with a lot of themes and a lot of things to kind of talk about. So I was very interested in seeing where that would go. Bringing back, uh, you know, Ivan Drago and, you know, his son Victor and, and that, that storyline, uh, that, that history, that animosity, you know, in, in, into, uh, you know, with, with, into Creed and, um, and Rocky, it, it just made it that much more intense. Usually in the world of boxing, they have, you know, boxers usually have their sons, um, usually following similar paths. You know, that's all they know. They grow up in the gym. They grow up around it. And so it, it was kind of natural that just like I would be boxing after, you know, Apollo, you know, that Victor would kind of naturally box after, you know, um, Ivan. So it, it, it was a natural fit. And um, and it, everything just started to fall into place. You know, that was, you know, Sly's idea. Um, and, you know, it was a genius one. So I, I think it worked out perfectly. He's huge. I was like, how am I, like, what? What weight class are we fighting in? How are we going to do this? Uh, but uh, we, we figured it out. You know, I, you know, spent a lot of time in the gym, uh, and I know he dropped weight as well, so we can try to catch, we tried to meet in the middle a little bit. And it, he's a really, really nice guy, super humble, um, eager to work and learn. And uh, we picked up chemistry really fast, you know, in the ring with choreography and stuff like that. So we, we definitely started to get on the same page. And he brings a lot of emotion and a lot of range to this role. And it, it's, it's a very layered performance by him from, 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 from what I've seen and, and, and us working together. So I, I think he, uh, he was the perfect person for it. I can't, I can't imagine anybody else playing him. He's a brother of mine now, you know, like we, you know, Nobody knows what that feels like unless you're able to go through that process. Now, not just that moment, you know, but I'm talking about just the, the training process, you know, shooting these 12, 14, you know, hour days, you know, when you're boxing the entire time, you know, doing choreography, taking punches, you know, every day, you know, limited amount of sleep, you know, like you're going through an intense, intense boot camp. Um, it, it's something that very few people know what it's like. You know the stakes. It's like it's a loaded situation. Like you know the history between those two. I'm somehow caught up in between the both of them, and it's like, all right, you know, mentor, coach, father figure. You know, the guy who killed my dad, son of the guy who killed my dad. You know, uh, just the 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 whole the whole triangle of us was a uh, was um was a lot of layers to kind of like fold into like moments of performance and character things like just subtext you know to have and uh and yeah it made for some some interesting moments on 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 screen so it was cool as a fighter you know that they, they have a certain mentality there's a certain fire that burns inside of them you know there's a certain thing as a warrior that you just gotta you can't it did it just that I get in the ring for, you know, that I gotta, I have to, this is a challenge. I have to, there's, there's certain things that, you know, that just makes, that makes them wanna fight.
that's something that we really want to explore. That's not just a fighter fighting. It's it's really a team thing between everybody, between me and Bianca. We really want to get into that. But then also knowing, Ugh, Danny, I don't know if this is the fight for you right now. You know, she, her, her knowing that, but couldn't really show him that because that's that that's she's his support. You know, so that she's definitely cut caught in a lot of conflict and and I think she navigates it really well. There's some things in the little little moments that human nature and just being real we had to show that you know maybe some doubt on her side that Adonis might pick up and feel some type of way that might drive him deeper down that road of of of, uh, of spinning spinning himself so there, that's definitely something that we wanted to get into as well Rocky's on board you know uh, his mom is on board, knows he's doing. His wife is on board, you know. He has a, a, a daughter now, somebody who needs him, who he has to come back to because he's not going to repeat his father's mistakes. So he's kind of came to this understanding with everybody in a circle, and then it's a team. Like, everybody's fighting Drago, not just Adonis. And I think that's the kind of support that he needs in order to win. And if he loses, then he knows that it wasn't just him. He's not fighting alone. And I, I think that that's something really powerful. He's awesome. Yeah, I mean, he, he's uh, one of those rare directors that you kind of you kind of have a real connection with and is very well rounded, you know. He 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 doesn't really lack. I mean, you know, from from what I've seen and what I know, he doesn't really have any real weaknesses, which is which is which is amazing and very rare to say. And like we all have weaknesses, but at the end of the day, you know, he brings something that's him, you know, uh, independent filmmaker um, in a studio system that's making a real, you know, gritty, down to earth film that's real. You know, I, I think I think that's the thing. He makes the characters real, and and I, and that's something that you gotta applaud. Um, yeah, yeah, I can't wait for him to put his mouthpiece in because we, he's going to take some real punches. Hey there, here's today's Daily Fact. Now, Sylvester Stallone is an advocate for authenticity. When he was filming Rocky IV, he told Dolph Lundgren to actually punch him, which he did. And Michael B. Jordan did the same when he filmed the Rocky spin-off Creed and even got knocked out at one point. <laughs> now, click here below to subscribe for more great content on the side to watch another video.